Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics and I'm back in town. You never know where I'm going to be when I show up live. <laughs> if you're on replay, hashtag replay. If you're new, let us know that as well. So hopefully we can see your message and give you a proper welcome. Feel free to share my video about. And I do have Telegram, but I, you know, sometimes it works for some people and sometimes it doesn't. If you type in hashtag text, I don't know if that's right. Don't do that. I don't know what it is. I didn't put the link in there either. Forget that. <laughs> Forget that. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh... Who's been watching here? I want to show you guys something with these rusty things. I still haven't finished these. I I'm terrible. I got projects open all over the place. But we are going to... Um, hey, Jason. We are going to uh, attempt. I got the, I got a mini fridge. Like, when I call it, say mini, like, it's... I didn't think it'd be this small, but it's okay. It'll work. <laughs> hey, Marilyn, Patricia. I just need half and half water and a Capri Sun. So, it says it holds six cans of soda. So, that, that should be more than enough room. Hey, Tammy and Diana. Welcome, welcome. Y'all, I'm so relieved to be live. I, I hate not seeing you guys. It makes me crazy. I've just been so busy. Hey, Joyce, Teresa, when I'm back in town, have to do some adult things, some appointments. The hubs has got to work, so we'll be here for a few days. Well, at least till Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I don't know. Thank you for sprinkling, Cheryl. Hey, Juanita. How are you? Uh, Denise, hello. Y'all, I sprayed these, like, just a half an hour ago, like, the insides. And whew, it stinks. It stinks. Hey, Jody. Um, so, I think, I don't even know. I don't know anything anymore. I, we just, whatever project's on my table, it's obvious so I haven't finished it yet. Hey, Dawn and Kim. Um, I don't know if I was here last time live doing this or not, but we did, um, I had the boards from, it was the three pack from the Hoblob of the Barnwood, and we put decoupage paper on it. Um, corrugated, I think we sold out of this actually. Hey, Mary and Pam, thank you guys so much for joining. Hey, Novella. And I put the screws in there, and I said, well, I have the three pockets that I'm going to hang from them, but they're super rusty. So I didn't, I didn't hang it up because they were rusty. Well, that night, I think it was that night, <clears throat> maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to try the, cause I thought spraying them would be great, but I wanted to try the ultra matte just to see what it would do. I thought it would like ruin my brush and get rust in here, but it didn't. Y'all, I'm completely shocked what this did. Hey, uh, Joe and Gladys and making it with Mimi. Hello. <laughs> I know I missed a few of you. Welcome. I didn't even bring my I didn't even bring my laptop in here. Uh, thank you, Joyce. We're getting there. I I actually forgot. I gotta seal the whole place. I totally forgot. I had to go buy some sealer today at Lowe's. Y'all, this stuff ain't cheap. Hey, t uh, Tony, Denise, thanks for resting the scraps. So what I did, I I stopped. I only did one side because I wanted to show you guys. So these are like. These are rusty little metal pockets, but they are like, well, it's probably hard to see on camera, but look at my band-aids, <laughs> but it literally turns you orange. So I used the ultra matte on the one side and I mean, it, I, I couldn't believe it. And it's matte. Like, I mean, it has a, even the not matte has a little shine to it, but, um, I, I just can't believe it. So I did spray the insides and, um, they're going to hang like so and hang my, well, oh, that's backwards. They're going to hang like that for pens because I can never find a stinking pen up there. So I'm just going to put a blob on the uh, the side I didn't do. So it really works and it's not shiny. So, I mean, you can see, oh, that's a good one there. See how orange my finger is there? So you can't even really touch these. You've got to seal them or just look at them from afar because they're so, they're so uh, rusty. <laughs> so rusty. Hey, Tanya. So I'm going to use Dake Pentart Ultra, Ultra Matte. Now watch it make a liar. I'm going to put a blob on here because that one is like super rusty. But I'm going to put a blob in here because I want to get, it didn't do it last time. And that's what I was afraid of, dipping my brush back in there. And uh, thank you, Terry. And then it getting, you know, all wonky, but it didn't. And then I didn't know if it was going to dry right because it looked like that. I was like, well, I don't know about that. But it doesn't even look like I did anything is what it, what it looks like. But I did spray the inside because the insides were really, really bad. I just used a matte. I put them, I stacked them, I sprayed them, I let it dry, and then I flipped them, and I did it again. Uh, oh, I missed that. Hey, Jamie. Uh, Shelly? Oh, Shelly. Michelle. <laughs> Shelly's Crafts and Creations by Michelle. That was a mouthful. Trisha, I'm glad you caught me live, too, girl. Hey, Shelly. Welcome. Happy Saturday. I keep thinking it's Monday. I am so screwed up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We headed back last night, so if you guys have an order... It will be out the door Monday. I promise, promise. Thank you for your patience during this transition in my life. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. So, see, 
I was kind of skeptical, like, oh boy, I don't know what it's going to do. But that's what it did. Bam. Beautiful. You got your order. Oh, awesome, Jamie. I appreciate your uh, your support. Connie, thanks for rusting the scraps. Hey, Marcia. So um, I ordered a mini fridge. <laughs> Y'all, it is so mini. It's hilarious. But it's perfect um, for my little shed because I also have a... Um, it's not turning... It's not turning my blob rusty. It's kind of weird. I would think it would pick the rust off. Rust off. Rust up off of this. Hey, Tracy. Um, so I got a little kettle out for my shed. It's not out there yet, but to have coffee. <laughs> I gotta have coffee. Uh, so I needed a little fridge for my half and half. And uh, hey, Marilyn. Hey, Jill. Um, so I figured I need a water, a Capri Sun, and half and half, and I'm good probably have to restock the fridge every day or two because <laughs> it's so many thank you for sprinkling maureen and Laura, uh, lorraine thank you ladies yeah so there's that so we're gonna try to put a transfer on it i don't know if it's gonna work it should hey carol and judy and natalie watching from utah y'all if any of you are new welcome if you want to say you're new that's great we'll 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 love on you a little but if you don't that's fine too Ah, oh, Teresa, that's what happens when you're... I, yeah, it's crazy. Mini fridge from my Capri Sun. <laughs> yes. It's so funny. It's so... I like... You know, I, I don't... I'm not very good at, like, reading. I mean, I can read, but I don't sometimes read the description like I probably should. It's cute. It's perfect. Post office. Oh, Monday's a holiday? Wait, what? Oh, I'm glad you said that. Oh, man, that stinks... I hate for you guys to have to wait another day. Oh, no. Aw, oh, thank you, Ellen. Yeah, we knocked that ceiling out. I'll tell you what, we were both pretty sore. That over-the-head work, that's no joke. Uh, like they use for makeup. Yeah, like a makeup fridge. Yes, yes. Or uh, where they keep the little, I don't know what that big white, I can't even see it on camera. That What's that line? I don't know. Anywho, those are done. That was easy. Is it still rough? No, I got the inside. Oh, Martin Luther King Day. Oh, damn. I'm glad you said that because I would have been going over there. <sighs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Delaware in the house. Hello. Ellen, we made this. <laughs> I, I'm so lost to track of time. Couldn't have been that many lives ago because I haven't really been live a lot lately. Excuse me. In the last week and a half, two weeks. Definitely within the last two weeks. So it was just a bit a boy, <laughs> a board. It was a three pack. I think it's called Barnwood or Rustic Wood or something. It's a three pack at Hobby Lobby. They're $12.99 normally, but then you can get the 40% off, which is totally worth it because this is a nice surface. Um, but I had previously done something on this. We covered it up. I used the decoupage paper corrugated rust. I don't even know. I think we're sold out of it though. It was recycled paper. And then these three rusty pockets we have on the website. Um, so when these dry, I'm going to hang it in the kitchen. I'm going to put a uh, claw, oh, I can never remember the name, um, a claw hanger on the back. So just to put like, of course I'll fix them with spacing wise and they have to dry, but they'll kind of, you know, just hold my stuff. Well, they'll be straight. What's, that's worse. Oh, thanks. Going the wrong way. What is happening in my life? There we go. Yeah. We can bend these wires. That's a good part too. So they don't, or whatever. It'll be something like that. Oh, something. It's not set in a very... <laughs> you get the skinny... Oh, I just stuck my hand in the glue. You get the idea. It will be straight when I hang it up. And they're not wet. And I really stuck my hand in that glue. Alright, so put that aside. I also put a coat of um, Ultra Matte over that just to... Just for funsies. Protect it. Oh, Y'all, it's freezing here. Wait, whose birthday? Ellen, happy birthday, Ellen. I won't sing because it's not good. It's not good. Here's the rest of the paper. It was a 20 by 30. I'm pretty sure we sold out. Maybe you have one. I don't know. I'm kind of lost these days of what's happening. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Uh, you like it a lot? You like it way much? Yeah, I look good in the kitchen. Um, all right, so... Here's my, <laughs> let me pick up the fridge. <laughs> Y'all, this is hilarious. <laughs> I haven't even opened it yet. It smells new. This is my ginormous fridge. Look, you can take it on the go. 
It's actually one of the ones you can put in your car, too. Does it have heat? Oh my god, it has heat, too. The one you can put in your car, and if you want to take, like, french fries with you and keep them warm, you can take it in your car. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know what that is. So, there it is. That's perfect! Let's try it out. Well, I have to lay these down. Hold on, I can't see. It smells new. Well, this comes out if I have to. My Capri Sun won't stand up. Well, Capri Suns don't come with a straw in them, so... Look, it's per. That's all I need. <laughs> That's all I need. Yeah, it's cold here too. Man, we've been whipping through some. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're out of firewood at the moment. Where we got two piles left, something like that. Well, how does this stinking thing go back in now? Oh boy. Lord only knows. Well, I don't need to put it back in right now. So, so I can take it in the car. Not that I would ever do that. Or plug it in. Okay. So we're gonna take a. We. You know what? You know what? I could do this whole thing, not the vents, but you have one of these in your office. It's perfect, right? You never see one like that. I think it was like 35 bucks. I didn't want to spend a lot. I, I think it was like 35 bucks on Amazon. It's a Honeywell. I didn't read the reviews. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just saw it was mini and said, okay, I'll take it. So we are going to put a transfer on the front of this. It should work. I don't see like any plastic on it or anything. Let me make sure. If it's a disaster, um, plan B will be to paint it and decoupage it. Because I don't think sanding it. Well, well, I don't know. I think it'll work. Is this a sticker? This looks like, a, oh, it's just a protective. That's what I was looking for. That'd be kind of good if they put that on there and I did the transfer. Then I could just peel it off if it came out terribly. If it came out good, we would just leave it. But that's it. Now, what transfer do we use? That's what I don't know. You have Honeywell products, and it's great. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so tiny. It would be perfect. So, I've got it down to... I'm thinking just doing the front. However, looking at this twall, we could twall the whole thing out. I don't know if I want to do the top, though, because the top's kind of... Oh, a little tricky. A little tricky. The handle doesn't come off, so... So our options are English twall, which <laughs> I did a project with these. Kind of looks nice with the gray. And it would be one big image. I don't think I'm going to do the sides. It's going to be like probably tucked in somewhere. Just the front is sufficient. So I could do the twall, obviously a full piece, not a piece with a big circles taken out of it. That would cover the whole thing. Got to narrow down to three. At least that's not too bad. Or <laughs> or hey Rona what is this? This is the winter song wreath. This is one of the only this is the only transfer left in the IOD line that you could paint. It's paintable. Um, you can see here where they did watercolors. It's meant to be a, see, it's meant to be a wreath. And then you got your four, your four corners, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a wreath. They've done more of like cut up pieces of it. You never seen one that tiny? It's hilarious. Like I said, I didn't, what the heck is it? Oh, I, I started doing the pumpkin and I never finished it. So I was thinking maybe like one of these corner pieces, just kind of. So I'm gonna leave it gray. I mean, imagine we could paint it, but I don't really want to do that. Maybe just so it's in the corner like this. That'd be easy. Or something out of here. I can't read. Uh, ephemeral melange. Ephemeral melange. Sometimes I can't say it. Ephemeral melange. <laughs> uh, hey, Paula, I'm so glad you got me. I don't know if I'm early. Yeah, I guess I am kind of early. It's eight o'clock, yeah. I feel like I need to go to bed, y'all. I went shopping today, y'all. I did so good. I haven't been, not been shopping in a long time. I didn't even Christmas shop. Well, I, did, I really was in need of some unmentionables. Like, I, I had to get some unmentionables. So I went and did that, and the hubs, hubs needed some sneakers. I was so stinking excited. I always, I swear by Marshalls, because I always say, whenever we go, um, Betsy, thank you so much for the stars. Um, whenever we go sneaker shopping for him, 
he's got like he likes what he likes and he's got wide feet so he's got to have a certain you know the w wide whatever so um there's like three different types of nikes that he likes and i always say let's go to marshall's first because you never know i haven't ha found a pair of nikes for him there probably five at least five years i walked in there today because i had to get a couple other things and um it looks like they're getting rid of the men's uh shoes and um there was like uh we're in a stars party see i don't see any of that anymore i don't even know we have star party anymore star party ooh, ooh. you like the corners of the second yeah i'll show you this one too so anyways i see the the ones that he likes the most uh in the in the on the rack but there's only like three other pairs beside it. It's a nine and a half. I'm like, oh crap. So I look around the other side. Oh, there they were, the wide ones and everything, $30. And these sneakers are usually anywhere from like $64.99 to $80. They were 30 bucks. I was so stinking happy. I was like, yes, I'm in, yes. Well, I'm excited. The late, there's two older ladies, <laughs> like two, I think they're in the purse, the bags. They're fighting over a bag. Like one lady reached through the other side and snagged the bag that way and the lady was like wait that's my bag and they're literally arguing about whose bag it is like <laughs> the marshal lady had to come in and she took them to the front and man they were just going at it over a bag that was hilarious uh no hydrangeas or carnations but i'm going to show you some roses yeah that was a good score thirty dollars i was i was praying there's more because i would have bought if there's 10 of them i would have bought them i think that'll fit on there nicely but i don't think i like the peach and the silver it's okay because i used up the other ones i used up that one and that one but we do have this red one left and that will take up the whole front of it as well so you see my dilemma here i just don't know hey shelly how are you oh you're saying hi i can't see in the way oh hi hey sherry <laughs> y'all i don't know we got all these little seed packets. We could cover it with seed packets. Well, they're not all seed packets. Beauty products and toothpaste and... Because uh, it's got all this good stuff in there. The seed packets are kind of cool. Uh, it's always... <laughs> I know. I was so excited. The second one, that's what everybody seems to like, the second one. The paintable one. Okay. I think that's nice and simple. Whew. Still number two. All right. All right, that's easy. And I think that'll be, that'll be just simple. It probably kind of looked like it, it, I bought it that way. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fret no more. Hello, my sweet friend, Sheila with Simply Simple Creations. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> you like the roses? Oh, dear. The twelve might look really nice, like, on the sides. Oh, you know what I was, well, I put it away. I was going to um, use the one, um, and I just, my brain just totally went, my favorite, the Burkant, um, the one I use, that flower, that gray flower that I used on that black vase. I was going to do that kind of look cool here, but I aborted that mission. I'm just trying to see if these are all the same and it looks like they are. Yeah. It looks like all four, four corner pieces are the same. So let's cut that out. Cut it out. See if I have a page cut. I don't think I do. I've never colored these in. I think it would be kind of cool to, I mean, I love black and white, but I think it would be kind of cool to color them in as well. Oh, I used that one. Okay. All right, let's cut this one out. That Whoa, corner one, you like two. All right, two it is. Sold. Sold. <laughs> the only fridge in my life I could pick up. Uh, pink and gray. Yeah, it's kind of like a peach. Wasn't it peach? I don't know what color. I guess it's a, it's peachish pinky, pinky peaches. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I'm going to go with simple. Because you know me. <laughs> I'm so simple. Oh, yep. So all the wood is done. Well, not all the wood is done. That's a lie. I got to put the trim up. Once the trim is done, well, got to put the trim around the ceiling and maybe the corners. And then I've got to sand it. Not a lot, but. And then I got to seal it. But I got a sprayer. I never used a sprayer before, so we'll see how that goes. Because that's got to be a whole lot quicker than um, um, than uh, 
rolling it or painting. Yeah, I don't, sometimes it looks different on the, don't be sorry, you're fine, Heidi. Um, it's gotta be quicker. And then once I'm done with that, then we can do the floor, then the floor trim, and then we can move in. Then we can move in. Linda, hello, how are you, my friend? I see, I see it twice. <laughs> I see your comment twice. All right, so that's what we got. Let's see. Wow, it's like it was made for this. It's gonna cut the top off a little bit, but that's okay. That'd be cute, y'all. That'd be so cute. Uh, let me get a pusher, a uh, scratcher, uh, <laughs> a transfer scratcher. Y'all, I don't know where anything is. I am so like, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. Hello, Deborah from Minnesota. <laughs> It'll all calm down soon, right? <laughs> Have all my stuff in one place. I gave up bringing stuff back and forth. Like I gave on, up on that. But then I really realized today that was a mistake because uh, I was a little, I'm a little low in one uh, in braziers, and uh, I left one there, and I the other one was in the washing machine. So I was like, uh, I gotta go buy some stuff. So yeah, I'll be happy when all my stuffs in the, in the same place. <laughs> Hello, Rick, reckless vintage. How are you? I'm just trimming this up so I can get like a better placement. If you've never used a transfer before, um, leave your white backing on until you're ready to use it because it's sticky. And if it sticks to like glass or a mirror, you're done. Like it, it, that's it. It's stuck and it's staying wherever it lands. It's staying. All right. I want kind of like that, right? That kind of fits kind of cool. It's going to go right over the honey well, but who cares? Who cares? It's a little bit raised. That's okay too. So, I want it more in this corner. I wonder if I should cut that off. Hold on. Oh, no, I can't cut that off because then that happens. Um, okay. Uh, right there. I'm going to cut this top off because if I don't cut it off now, it's just going to be in the way. now I should have cut a little more off but I didn't so because I got it in the placement that I want um hey Betsy uh Tammy so we are I know some of you guys are probably like what is this girl doing like she's crazy she's in the, all these different locations doing all this different stuff she quit her job what the hell's the matter with her so in a nutshell the the where we're building the shed we've had that property for nine and a half years Right, so I just peeled that off, cut it there, and so now it's anchored down. So that way, because I already have my placement, instead of picking this back up, peeling it off, and trying to line it back up, that's hard to do, especially with something that's sticky. So now I have my placement, so all I have to do is peel this back, and then just kind of, you know, kind of do that. Because like I said, it's sticky. So there, ta-da. <laughs> so you get, it's right where you, where you want it. It looks like a sock. Um... So there, that's going to be cute. So we've always wanted to live up there full time, um, but then the internet was terrible. It still is terrible, but we decided to try the RV Starlink. I got to trim a little more of this off. And we did, and it worked really well. Um, we did several tests and we, it's going to be able to do what we needed to do. We have fiber come in the end of the year, by the end of the year. Um, so we've lived in this house since the year 2000. Yeah, 2000. So we're trying, and it's a mobile home up there. And it's, I, I, I got to look it up because I want to, for some reason, I think it's 682 square feet. Like that's what's in, stuck in my head, which that's not a lot of room, but it's nice because it's like, it just, it just, I can't wait to show you guys. I did the bathroom up there because the bathroom was terrible. I tiled that when we first moved in. It, it looks so good. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but that was the biggest tile job I've ever done. The shower, everything. Um, but it's just two bedrooms, one on each end. And then, then everything else is open in the middle in the kitchen and then one bathroom and um you're gonna get a tool with your transfer kit it'll be wood or plastic most likely plastic and i like to do it once over so i'm just gonna take my thingy here and go over it one time and then i'm gonna find a spot and work my way back i don't know if i'm gonna scratch this because it's plastic so i'm not gonna go too crazy so we gotta pack up we gotta get the shed ready so i can move stuff from here because there's nowhere to move anything right now. Does that make sense? So we're trying to like yard sale pile, sell pile, keep pile, throw away pile. Like there's just piles everywhere. <laughs> so it's, it's just a lot of finagling. 
So without the shed, we I wouldn't be able to, you know, have a craft room or anywhere for the merchandise or any of that. So yeah. So yeah. So it's five acres. It's like you're in another state up there. It's the weirdest thing. It's literally three hours north of where we're at here. And it's literally like you're in another state. It's just so weird. I mean, I love it. It's almost like halfway you got to change into your camo <laughs> because everything just slows down. Like it's a whole nother. It's, it's strange. I think this is going to work y'all. So far it's sticking. Okay, so you want to just find a spot. I know a lot of you know this, but some people have never transferred before. But find a spot and just kind of rub it down because what you're doing is you're transferring this image onto your surface. It's a slow process. It's not fun to watch, but if you go slow and you peel this top sheet back as you go. And if it doesn't stick to your surface, you're going to see it on your carrier sheet. So you can just lay it right back down and rub on it and it'll, it'll transfer down. But it's a process. But for some reason, if it's just not working and it, Find another spot to work from, like another corner and work your way. Sometimes you just got to go with the transfer is telling you to do. And that does happen a lot. Depends on the shape of it, what it is. Like all of these lines, it's not one big sticker. Each individual line here is um, is its own, like, sticky. Your model, your model is your mobile home. Um, let's see. Uh, Dixie County, Julie, uh, Judy, Dixie County. Yeah, so when we were looking... We were traveling up there, you know, on the weekends. It was just a lot, you know, looking at places. And this was the last place we were going to look at. And I knew, I'm one of those people that you know it when you see it kind of thing. And when we pulled into that place, I was like, this is it. And then when we went to the mobile home, then I really was like, this is it. Um, it, it was not good. Like, it, the, the bones of it were good, but the inside was not very good. They tiled, they tiled over linoleum none of the floors there's like five or six different types of floor in there um but just the layout it was there it was there so we pretty much gutted the whole thing and um not the kitchen though the kitchen we left they painted the cabinets they're like a they're kind of like vintage duck egg color um hey it's shack in the back and um we left those on the countertops but we did the floors we painted yeah so we painted we did the floors and i redid the bathroom and um because the it was one of those um real cheap tubs like you feel like you're gonna fall through it <laughs> like one of those um and it was just really really stained from the iron so we just put a stand-up shower like i didn't do the the plumbing or anything up we hired a buddy to do the plumbing part i don't know how to do that stuff but um yeah and then i did the tile and um it just came out really nice it looks like an outhouse uh you did yours yeah it's just I, that place just has a feeling to it. Like it's very cozy. It's very homey. Although it's small, I don't know. It just feels nice, but it came with, um, a bunch of other dwellings on the property. There's a, um, the U-Haul, which used the back of it for storage. There was a huge, um, it was a lot of fun uh, or a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. It's very rewarding. Um, there was a giant tool shed, but that burned down, um, like this, second or third year we were there that was scary there was an electrical shortage in the in the lighting and um we had just had a tropical storm because it was right under a tree and thank goodness we just had that storm because everything was saturated wet because had it not been those trees would have went up and it would have been the fire got so hot like ron and i didn't even know ron got up and to use the bathroom and he saw something glowing and he's like what the hell is that and then he's like trace the tool shed's it, by that time, it was already three quarters of the way burned, and it literally melted the siding of the um, uh, of the mobile home. Like, and usually we park like the four wheelers and stuff there, and we didn't that night. Thank God, because those would have exploded. But it was scary. And him and I put it out. It took us like we were gonna call the fire department, but it was already beyond that scary part. But it took us like five or six hours to get it out, out, totally out, where we could go back to sleep. Yeah, we're selling. We gotta prepare this house to sell. Yes, so there's that too. It's <laughs> nothing like making all these changes at once in my life, but it's okay. It's good. I'm anxious to get settled. Like I said, there's a lot I want to do. All right, here's y'all. This is gonna look so good. It's, I'm going a little slow because it's take. It's a little bit not resistant, but it, it's not sticking as great as it would to like something real like a mirror or a porcelain. But uh, it's gonna work. So. Here we have it.
Um, hey, Ellen, uh, Elena, oh, Elena, what the heck? Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to downsize, um, house-wise. Um, I'm excited to have my own shed and merchandise all in one place. It's just a lot of good stuff to, someday I'd love to have my own, uh, work shed. We have a, a huge, I guess it's like a carport thing right now. It's big. Um, but it's not insulated or anything like that, but we have electric in there, but I'm going to use that for now. But Ron parks all his toys in there. And then there's a shed that houses the washer and dryer, which we need to get a new washer and dryer once we get the water fixed. So that's our next big thing is, um, oh, thank you, Joanne. When will we see the new, oh, Heidi, I, I don't know. I can tell you I ordered the new IOD release, but I have no idea. I have no idea. I wish I knew. As soon as they tell us, we can tell you. Or as soon as we, yeah, I'll definitely tell you guys. I can't, I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Like I said, this thing's got my name written all over it. Except for one. Except for one. In the one, when I saw it, I was like, eh. But then they showed it uh, on a dresser. And I was like, hmm, okay, that's not, it's not so bad. But everything else seriously screams me. Hey, Lori, I'm glad you catch me live too. I'm just making my way down. If I get a piece that sticks, I'll show you what I mean. That's why you gotta go slow. You can't rip it off like a Band-Aid. Because if it doesn't stick, just by laying it back down and giving it a rub, you never even knew it didn't stick to begin with. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully you can see. Maybe I need to go a little farther down. Hold on. Pick up my fridge. <laughs> Can you see that little black dot right there? So that didn't lay down. So if I just lay it down, give it a rub, and then it's gone. <laughs> and it's gone. And then you can't even, well, I don't know if you can tell anyway, but you can't even tell that anything happened. It's like a surprise. Yes, Connie, we're allowed to, I think it's, um, three molds, three molds, three stamps. One of the stamps is a twofer. Uh, oh my God. It's so, they're so good. So three stamps, three molds, two transfers and two paint inlays. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So good. So good. I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you, show you, tell you. I would go get my laptop right now and show you pictures if I could. I would. I hate, I, this is the part I don't like. I mean, it's torturous. Torturous. My guesstimate, my guesstimate would be a month. Because they've got a, you know, we already ordered. We all have to order at the same time. And, um, uh, you're saving your money. <laughs> I'd, I'd advise you to. If you're really into it, I would advise you to. All right, I'm going to start over here because I don't know why. I just feel like I should. <laughs> um, so everybody placed their orders. They have to order them. And then everybody's got to get their order. And then usually when they start to send them out to us, they schedule a date that they're going to reveal it to the public. So then that's the date we can... We can, uh, there we go. We can show it too. I'm excited about this. Did you see what I just did? I did, it wasn't adhered and I got a little catch of air under there and it totally laid down by itself. I didn't even rub that. Pretty snazzy. A magic. Um, I should probably should seal this, but I'm probably not going to. If I see like when I wipe it down to clean it, or it looks like it's rubbing off and that then, then at that point I'll probably put some Pentart Ultra Matte over it. We'll see. Hey Beth! How are you, my friend? <sighs> so y'all, I, I YouTube changed some of their standards. So if, you know, I'm working towards my four thousand watch hours, which we're getting there. We're getting there, and I thank you for that. 
but they just <laughs> they just added shorts in. Remember I told you don't watch shorts. They don't they don't count. <laughs> well, they count, but they count by themselves, y'all. Uh, you can be monetized if you have a thousand subscribers, ten million views in ninety days on your short. Ten million. So if I get ten million views on my shorts in ninety days, then I can monetize. And I'll have to, and the 4,000 hours can come later on. It's either or. 10 million. <laughs> 10 million. I'm trying to think, what the heck can I do to get 10 million views on YouTube? Like, obviously, something that have to, you'd have to have two videos go viral. 10 million. I was all happy giddy when I got almost 200,000 on one of my views. I don't think I've ever had over 200,000. Never mind, 10 million. Uh, putting up the roof. That's funny, I bet. I didn't tell him at first that I had the the video going because he doesn't really like stuff like that. But then I showed him and he's like, wow, we're fast. <laughs> All right, we're almost there, guys. This is so pretty. Look. look. Can you believe how many people watch the sawdust, Connie? Like, it's almost like, man, here I'm all proud of this craft. You know, and it doesn't get any views, and then I suck up sawdust, and it's got over 2,000? Like, what the heck? What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> but then, you know, it's it's like, you can't win with a, a viral video, because that's all you're going to be known for. I, I, I'm a creative, but I'm going to be known, oh, that's the girl that was sucking sawdust. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't win. Pole dancing? Oh, my goodness. That'd be like America's funniest videos is I would that and I'd probably end up at the hospital. Oh my goodness. That's funny. 10 million. I was like, oh wow. Okay. Probably not in my lifetime. I got a better chance of getting 4,000 hours. <laughs> 10 million on one video or 10 million? 10 million all in 90 days. 10 million doesn't matter. Just 10 million views. 10 million views on your shorts in 90 days. So Maybe I could try to put out 10 shorts a day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's a lot of views. But I do notice that they push your shorts out there just like they do reels. Like they push them out there to more people. So do crafts naked. <laughs> I think I'd get banned. I can't even play music. I doubt I could get nude. Plus everybody. Oh, I don't know about that one. All right. We got two little things here. And this is where you need to be careful because this is where it wants to pop off. And a lot of times it'll pop off and it'll take your transfer with you with it. See those two little black dots at the bottom right there, right there. That's all that's left and hanging on. But this is usually where if it's going to come off and then you got to line it back up, which is no problem, but you do have to line it back up. But this is where they want to pop. Maybe sawdust some more. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was satisfying. It was so satisfying to do because I wasn't able to, so I was, I was using the wet vac, but I didn't realize the bag wasn't in there because I was sucking everything up and I looked behind the, <laughs> the thing and there's like dust all over. I was like, what the heck's happening? Well, I didn't have the bag and they were here. So I had to wait just because it was like, you know, fighting a never ending battle. So it was like a couple of days of sawdust and I don't have the bag on the back of the, the, the saw, which is blowing. Yeah, it's just a mess. Okay. So there it is. Y'all, that is perfect. It almost looks like it came that way. So the most important, um, how does somebody else get away? I don't know. And some, like my husband will post a reel or something of his music playing in the truck and he doesn't get dinged probably because he's not a business. I don't know. If you've never done a transfer, never done, never done a transfer before, you need to burnish it. It's just a fancy word to make sure all your edges are down because you don't want to like scrape it and have it peel up. I like to use my finger because I feel like I can, I can feel it, but you can use this. You can use this. You can use a paper towel. You're just, just pushing it down. I think this look came out really nice. It's, it's simple, but it's pretty. It's matchy matchy. It kind of looks like it came like this. Y'all, maybe, maybe th this will be, maybe this will be number one top seller of 2023. Craft room mini fridges. <laughs> what fits in the fridge? Six cans. So all I need is, um, hey, Michelle, I need Half and half, like I, I think I could even get the tall one, couldn't I? Oh, maybe not. So my little half and half, <laughs> I took the shelf out. Um, my half and half, Capri Sun and water. That's all I need, because I'm gonna have my little, um, my little 
hot pot over there. With, so I have, because I like instant coffee. And um, at home, I like instant coffee. So I'll have that over there. I have a little coffee station in my... I think we could paint it, because I was thinking if this... Um, it did transfer really nice. I was thinking if this didn't work out, we could paint it and decoupage over it because only thing would be a little tricky because this doesn't come off, but you could, we could finagle around that. But we, if I get sick of it, we could decoupage it. You could do the sides too. Just can't do the vent. But I've seen people do their, um, what are those mixers? The Rite Aids, Rite Aids. I've seen people decoupage those out or tra put transfers on those. Hey, Tanya. Yeah, I like that. I, I think it's perfect. It's perfect. And I really thought I was going to get in the way of the Honeywell, which I don't care, but I didn't. It is raised a little, but it's perfect. Um, yeah, I like it not paint. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not going to watercolor them. No, I'm going to leave it just as is. But this transfer is the only transfer. And the reason it's paintable is because... Um, well, you can see. You, you can see the background, so... Like I said, each one of those black lines are individual lines, so you could paint in between them where the flower would be covered. Uh, the transfer, like, spit it out. <laughs> the, 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 the back, the, the surface is the open part of the flower where this flower obviously is all transfer. Like, you couldn't paint that. I mean, you could, but this is made paintable. Good Lord. This transfer is the Winter's Song Wreath. It's a four page one. If you type in hashtag website, it'll send scrappiesrustics.com to your private messenger. And these are under IOD transfers, but this is what it, so you get a wreath and then we used one of these four corners. So you get four of the same, this camera will screw you up. And if you've never ordered from me before, it'll chart, you'll get charged 1650 for shipping. But as soon as I pack up your goodies, I refund you the difference. So um, it does look like it came that way. Let's see if our other, oh, see, these are still, these are almost dry, but no more rust, no more rust. So now I can put this, I don't know what that white, oh, it's glue. Hey, what is that? It's like a, oh, it's dried glue. Anyways, that's almost dry. Doesn't even look like there's anything on it and no, no more rust. <laughs> so that worked. Uh, I missed it. Type in what? Oh, so hashtag website all together. Um, yeah, just like Brenda did. Hashtag website and it'll send scrappiesrustics.com to your private messenger. Just click on that. And these are under IOD. Like if you go under shop, everything's in categories and this would be under IOD transfers. And this one's called uh, Winter Songs Wreath. And you'll be charged $16.50 at checkout for shipping. But as soon as I pack up your goodies, I refund you the difference of that. So, yeah, I'm gonna get to bring this up with me now and get that hung up, get this done. That one's a little bit wet. I can't believe how matte, I, and I can't believe, I mean, these things were so rusty. Look at all my Band-Aids, I'm a mess. Almost, um, yeah, IOD transfers. Oh, that's what you do to start idea. Yeah, charge three times as much. This is. This $35 mini fridge just went to $99.99 for you today and today only. The sale will end at midnight. Oh, it's cute. I will seal it. When I go to clean it, if I feel, if I see it's starting to come off or whatever, I'll seal it. Probably with this mat, ultra mat. Um, I can't, my hand won't get in the way of it. You know, when I, when I open the big fridge. Oh, get me a beer. Oh. Uh, Put something on the back of the pocket so they won't move. Yeah, I'm going to, um, and when I was, that was not a good demonstration, but all of these, well, these are still rusty, but these, I'll clamp this around the, the screw because all these are adjustable. So once I get it in place, I'll, you know, bend that down. So it's hankered down on it. Um, close Yvonne, but type in hashtag website, hashtag W E B S I T E all together. And, um, yeah. 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 I'm so, ah, I'm so relieved to see you guys tonight because I do not like not going live, but I just got to do what I can until we get settled and we get on a routine and a schedule. All of us be on a schedule. <laughs> uh, you know, do 
fits nicely in a plastic shoe box. I was so excited. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a good place to do it. Her mold in a shoe box. I used the, um, I just bought two more. Those 12 by 12 see-through plastic things are on sale at Michael's right now for $4.99. Um, thank you, Shonda. I have one right there, but it's buried. But there's a 12 by, they hold scrapbook paper. Um, can you buy a nylon knee high? I, Susan, I have, I was talking to my husband. I'm like, we don't have the stinking, because every time I cut a piece of wood, I get so mad because not only was it spitting it out the back, but it was making its way up and in my face and going under my glasses. And it was, it just stuck to me. Every time I cut a piece of wood, I was like, <sighs> it was, oh, but the bag is here. We knocked the bag off and didn't realize until somebody said it on here. And I was like, duh, there's no bag on it. Uh, you love it, boo? <laughs> Look how nice it came out. I'll let you put your uh, Diet Dr. Pepper in there. Just one. Just one. <laughs> one a day is all you get. Uh, yeah, those containers are great. I use them for my stamps, my molds, and scrapbook paper. Yeah, my stamps, mold, and back, uh, scrapbook paper. Yep, you guys got it. You got it. But for $4.99, you can't beat that. Plus, they stack so nicely. And you can see through them. They've got clear... Um, Oh, Hobby Lobby has them for $3.99. Now, I noticed at Michael's they have two. They might even have three different uh, brands. And one of the brands is really, like, cheap. Like, like really uh, thin. Not not so good. Um, I can't. I don't know which one it is. I just go by the sticker. I just picked, two. like I said, two more up today. But, um, because they hold both. You can put two sets of stamps in there. They fit side by side. So, Yeah. All right, well, I'm home for a few days, so I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing rest of your evening. Um, yeah, only, yeah, only, only Ron only gets room for one. <laughs> or Dr. Pepper or uh, Pepsi One, whatever the heck it is he drinks there. I don't even know. Um, use those for jewelry spot. Oh, that's a good idea, too. That's a good idea. I bought a new container today. I was so, I parked miles away, had it in the cart, had it perfect so it wouldn't break. I stopped the carriage at the truck, and it falls off the freaking cart and broke i was so mad i was so a little storage container i was so mad i was like now i gotta bring the stinking thing back but oh you too jody and shonda and yvonne uh you have a mini fridge the old-fashioned one. Oh, I, those are cute they have uh the old-fashioned ones are really cute they're not that expensive either i saw those but thank you guys so much for your time and if you guys have any questions as always please message me uh <laughs> cheap oh cheap pizza boxes that's a good idea too you guys are smart <laughs> have a great night bye guys oh.